Are you ready to explore the greatest mysteries of the universe? Join us on a mind-bending journey into the unknown as we delve into the fascinating world of dark matter and dark energy. These invisible, yet all-pervasive entities make up the vast majority of our universe and have perplexed scientists for decades. But with groundbreaking new research and cutting-edge technology, we're finally starting to unravel their secrets. Don't miss out on this mind-blowing adventure. Watch the mysteries of the universe, dark matter and dark energy, and discover the secrets that shape our cosmos. In the early 1990s, one thing was fairly certain about the expansion of the universe. It might have enough energy density to stop its expansion and recollapse, or it might have so little energy density that it would never stop expanding. But gravity was certain to slow the expansion as time went on. Granted, the slowing had not been observed, but theoretically, the universe had to slow. The universe is full of matter, and the attractive force of gravity pulls all matter together. Then came 1998 and the Hubble Space Telescope, HST, observations of very distant supernova, that showed that a long time ago, the universe was expanding more slowly than it is today. So the expansion of the universe has not been slowing due to gravity, as everyone thought, it has been accelerating. No one expected this. No one knew how to explain it, but something was causing it. What is dark energy? More is unknown than is known. We know how much dark energy there is because we know how it affects the universe's expansion. Other than that, it is a complete mystery. But it is an important mystery. It turns out that roughly 68% of the universe is dark energy. Dark matter makes up about 27%. The rest, everything on Earth, Everything ever observed with all of our instruments, all normal matter, adds up to less than 5% of the universe. Come to think of it, maybe it shouldn't be called normal matter at all, since it is such a small fraction of the universe. One explanation for dark energy is that it is a property of space. Albert Einstein was the first person to realize that space is nothing. Space has amazing properties, many of which are just beginning to be understood. The first property that Einstein discovered is that more space can come into existence. Then one version of Einstein's gravity theory, the version that contains a cosmological constant, makes a second prediction. Space can possess its energy. Because this energy is a property of space itself, it would not be diluted as space expands. As more space comes into existence, more of this energy of space would appear. As a result, this form of energy would cause the universe to expand faster and faster. Unfortunately, no one understands why the cosmological constant should even be there, much less why it would have exactly the right value to cause the observed acceleration of the universe. Another explanation for dark energy is that it is a new kind of dynamical energy fluid or field, something that fills all of space, but something whose effect on the expansion of the universe is the opposite of that of matter and normal energy. Some theorists have named this quintessence, after the fifth element of the Greek philosophers, but if quintessence is the answer, we still don't know what it is like, what it interacts with, or why it exists. So the mystery continues. What is dark matter? By fitting a theoretical model of the composition of the universe to the combined set of cosmological observations, scientists have come up with the composition that we described above, tilde 68% dark energy, tilde 27% dark matter, and tilde 5% normal matter. What is dark matter? We are much more certain what dark matter is not than we are what it is. First, it is dark, meaning that it is not in the form of the stars and planets that we see. Observations show that there is far too little visible matter in the universe to make up the 27% required by the observations. Second, it is not in the form of dark clouds of normal matter, but matter made up of particles called baryons. We know this because we would be able to detect baryonic clouds by their absorption of radiation passing through them. Third. Dark matter is not antimatter because we do not see the unique gamma rays that are produced when antimatter annihilates with matter. Finally, we can rule out large galaxy-sized black holes based on how many gravitational lenses we see. High concentrations of matter bend light passing near them from objects further away, but we do not see enough lensing events to suggest that such objects make up the required 25% dark matter contribution. However, at this point, there are still a few dark matter possibilities that are viable. The baryonic matter could still make up the dark matter if it were all tied up in brown dwarfs, or small, dense chunks of heavy elements. These possibilities are known as massive compact halo objects. 
or Meicheos. But the most common view is that dark matter is not baryonic at all, but that it is made up of other, more exotic particles like actions or WIMPs, weakly interacting massive particles. The difference between dark matter and dark energy. Dark matter is thought to be a type of matter that does not interact with light or other forms of electromagnetic radiation. It is called dark because it does not emit, absorb, or reflect light, making it invisible to telescopes that rely on light to detect objects in space. However, dark matter interacts with other matter through gravity, and its presence can be inferred from the gravitational effects it has on visible matter, such as stars and galaxies. Dark matter is believed to be responsible for the observed structure of the universe, helping to hold galaxies and clusters of galaxies together. On the other hand, dark energy is a mysterious force that is thought to be causing the expansion of the universe to accelerate. Unlike dark matter, dark energy is not a type of matter, but rather a property of space itself. It is thought to be a type of energy that is uniformly distributed throughout the universe and does not dilute as the universe expands. The exact nature of dark energy is not yet fully understood, but it is thought to be a manifestation of the so-called cosmological constant in Einstein's theory of general relativity. Dark energy is responsible for the accelerating expansion of the universe, and is thought to make up around 70% of the total mass energy content of the universe. In conclusion, the mysteries of the universe continue to fascinate and inspire us, as we strive to uncover the secrets of dark matter and dark energy. The Cherenkov Telescope Array CTA, is poised to revolutionize our understanding of these enigmatic phenomena, using cutting-edge technology and international collaboration to push the boundaries of astrophysics. So let us join hands, gaze up at the stars, and embark on this thrilling adventure of discovery as we unveil the mysteries of the universe and marvel at the wonders of creation. If you enjoyed the video, kindly subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out on our videos.